Hi, welcome back to Edible Whole Foods. Are you ready to party? We've got some party planners with us today. I'm so glad to have Whit Winslow, who is the executive director for the Wine and Grape Council of North Carolina, with us today. Thanks for coming over. Thank you for having me. Our resident wine geek, David Faircloth, That's North me. Raleigh store. Wine in North Carolina is kind of moving on up there, isn't it? Yeah. It is. So there's about 125 wineries in North Carolina That's now. Amazing. It's got one of the longest wine histories of any state in the country. Started with some of the sweeter Muscadine varieties yeah. and has moved up into the Yakin Valley, Swan Creek, Hall River AVAs, and up into the mountains uh, with some European varietal wines now. And if you like some sweet stuff still, there's some sweeter varieties of the European varieties Why don't you tell me this is like one of the biggest agricultural crops in North Yeah, it's one of the fastest growing agricultural industries in the state. It's been great. Well, let's see what Wine Geek is, is going to pour for us. Today. Well, you know, Whit, Whit mentioned um, the, the history of Down East and the, the Muscadine varietals. And also he mentioned the fact that uh, if you want something that's still sweet, but, uh, but moving into the traditional European varietals, something that I like a lot is the Shelton Riesling. It is a, a Riesling from the Yadkin, uh, Yadkin Valley Appalachian, and I think it's a delicious wine. It is what I would consider off dry. You get a good amount of sweetness, especially in the front of the palate, but uh, at the finish, it has a nice uh, leaner crispness to it. I get lots of uh, apricot note off of it, and because it is an off dry, not cloyingly sweet, uh, it goes very, very well with any sort of appetizers like we have out here this morning. That is good. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, that's... I mean, that's it's it's, that's grown, it's yeah. grown in the soils of the Yadkin Valley, and it's it's absolutely terrific stuff. So I get to drink the whole glass? Of course. <laughs> It'd be a waste not to. Well, we can't not. Um, but grabbing a North Carolina wine, like, like this Riesling you were talking about, goes yeah. really good with food. Well, I'm also a huge fan of McRitchie Vineyards, and besides yeah. being a winery, they also make wonderful ciders from North Carolina Heritage Apple. So a cider is a great pairing to go with soft cheeses, stinky cheeses. It's always a traditional uh, pairing with, uh, say, Brie or Camembert, a nice uh, cider that's going to be off dry. But what I have out here this morning is the McRitchie Ring of Fire, which is their blend of Merlot, Petit Verdot, and Little Syrah. Medium bodied, nice rich fruit to it, uh, great with pork dishes, great with uh, roasted turkeys, great with beef Standing dishes. Standing rib roast. Standing rib roast, great with, again, not so heavy that it would overwhelm any of the uh, appetizers we have out here this morning. Okay. How about a sparkling? A sparkling wine? Well, one of my favorites comes from Biltmore. I love the Biltmore. Yeah. Uh, it's a sparkling champagne, and it's made in the Méthode Champenoise, or Champagne Method. And um, it uh, has beautiful bubbles, lots of apricot note, a little bit of peach note on the aromatic, beautiful tight bubbles on it, like a good uh, Champagne Method wine ought to be. Now, wait, aren't they one of the older... They are. They're Western, one of the, North, uh, Western North Carolina. Vineyards. They are. They're one of the oldest uh, European varietal, vinifera style okay. grape wineries in the which state. Which is opposed to the Muscadine, which is exactly. which we two different two different varieties. things entirely. So again, a great wine to pair with all the wonderful um, uh, olive bar items that you traditionally find mm -hmm. at a Whole Foods. Well, you know, we really got lazy. This is kind of like a, a man party. So I went to the olive bar, I went to the specialty food section and got all of this kind of stuff. And with some North Carolina wines, you know, I, I think we're set. Wait a minute, what's this? Fred, I think you're forgetting something. Oh, you just came over here to drink wine. That's all you're here for. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for showing up. Drink North Carolina wines. Cheers. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy and good eating. Year. Good eating.